What's going on, gamers? Green text time, all right? Here we go. Give me your McDonald's hacks. I'll start off with my favorite, all right? I order a Big Mac and a small Coke. I ask for the middle bread on the side. I sit down, and I get to work. I pop the Coke lid. I take the middle bread and give it a good five-second dunk to marinate. What? <laughs> what do you mean you do that? Gently squish the bread between my palms till it gets patty-like consistency. Reassemble the burger. Profit. Homie calls it the coked up Mac. And honestly, I think you need to be on some coke to actually do some of this, all right? That is absolutely putrid and insane, my guy. All right, but at least he's not as coked up as these third graders, all right? He goes, in this thread, we post weird elementary school memories, all right? Third grade, eating popsicles on field day. One kid is eating a hyper strips. Shit's red, white, and blue, if you don't know. He starts to feel sick. He vomits, and the vomit is just a swirly pool of red, white, and blue. I stand up immediately and put my hand over my heart. We sing God Bless America as our comrade is taken to the nurse's office, and the teacher looked at us with a mixture of pride and deep disturbance. <laughs> oh my. Do you guys have any weird, like, at school things like this? Like, I I've never experienced something like this unanimously just putrid, weird in third grade or any like grade at all let me know below because i actually kind of want to read these i might read them in the next video to continue the trend of crackhead coked up energy all right this guy goes the research is pointing to the fact that autistic females are not rare what was thought to be a four to one male to female prevalence of autism is now predicted to be more likely two to one male to female there's hope for us all bros <laughs> like come on you can't be that bad that you can only score some autistic female like come on dude not, not, nothing wrong with autistic females, because, like, I literally have autism. But I'm not a female, but, like, I have autism, so there's nothing wrong with autism. But, like, you can't just, like, rely on that as, like, your demographic for dating pool. Come on, man. You gotta get, you gotta do better than that for yourself, you know what I mean? But then again, here we are on 4chan, reading 4chan green text stories, and y'all are listening, and uh, maybe there isn't hope after all. But this next one, it, it kind of induces some hope for me, because, like, I, I'm not this down better. Right? It goes... I hate being a dentist sometimes. New patient comes in, skinny lad that smells like Lynx vodka and vomit. He's shaky. Good God, son, it's a fucking Tuesday. I get a look inside. The kid is like 19 and his enamel is all messed up. Bruising at the back of his mouth. There's only two ways to get that kind of damage. Frequently vomiting and sucking <laughs> with a needlessly rough partner. I take a glance at his hands. Left hand's first two knuckles are scraped. This little shit can't be more than eight stone. Sure as hell isn't a brawler. Bulimic it is. I play stupid for politeness sake, and I ask him if he drinks a lot of fizzy drinks, since the acid does do a lot of damage to one's teeth. He looks at me like he knows I know. After I'm done, I calmly tell him that I don't mean to lecture and I don't judge patients for their lifestyles, but that he probably already knows which one of his life choices are damaging to his teeth and overall health. Kid looks pale and nods. His phone buzzes, and I know the grinder notification when I hear it. You really have your shit together, haven't you? <laughs> like, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, this is like a double-edged sword. <laughs> The dentist also knows what the grinder notification means. So, like, hmm, I think the dentist knows what's going on. And I think the dentist has some things also going on for himself. So this next guy, he's actually coming to, the, like, the sad realization that humans naturally have some pretty disgusting primal urges, alright? He goes, be me, playing Red Dead Redemption 2 for the very first time, fooling around in New Hanover, and I suddenly find this prospector dude searching for gold and mud. I actually stay next to him, hoping that he might find some so I can rob him. Oh shit, he actually found a .jpg. He's jumping and dancing around, looking real happy. Suddenly, my primal urge is awake and I rob him. He didn't want to give it willingly, so I had to kill him. I loot the body and, oh shit, there's gold. I go to sell it. My face when it's only 25 bucks. I had goddamn $200 already and I just ended some poor guy's life over 25 stupid dollars. I remember that the little dancing that he did when he found it, and I started crying. I turn off the game and I don't play it for the next couple of days. He was just an NPC in the game and yet I feel fucking terrible. So far, I think the trend has been that like all these anonymous users are starting to find out something about themselves. Like, you know, it's like the becoming of a man kind of thing where just the barrier of entry is that you just have to do some weird stuff and you find out who you really are. Don't be like this guy or do be like this guy and only take out your urges on video games and don't take out your urges on real life people because if you take out real life people then that's bad and you'll go to jail. Don't do that. That's bad. Now this next guy is pretty bad but it's not illegal. Alright he goes which one of you degenerates did this? Be me. 26. I live with my parents 70 year old dad and 65 year old mother. My mom often posts stuff for sale on nextdoor.com. Always brings in randoms to the garage to sell them shit. One day, some 26-year-old guy comes to buy something. Before he leaves, he asks if they can stay in touch. My mom is such a sweet little lady that she agrees. They text a little, and this guy is new in town and doesn't really know anyone yet. We get the vibe that he also doesn't have the best family life and kind of sees my mom as a sweet old lady mother figure. She's a very strong Christian. She thinks it's wholesome. And then we fast forward to yesterday, where he messages her, I miss you, beautiful. Says something along the lines of, I'm very attracted to you and I want to pursue you in an intimate way. My face when. She tells him this is extremely inappropriate and blocks him. Like, 
that's absolutely unhinged, all right? Like, the, I, I don't even, I can't even make commentary on that. That is insane, dude. Props to the mother for not going through with it. Because, like, the guy's 26, the same age as your son. And not to mention, you also have a husband. So, like, good for her, man. Th th that 26-year-old's fucking weird, dude. Now, this one's actually a lot more wholesome. It goes, be me. I'm 20. I'm also unemployed. Buddy asks me to come over to his workplace. It's just a construction place. They explain to me how shit gets done, strong union as well, lots of camaraderie, and fun banter. Working construction doesn't sound too bad, bros. Should I go for it? And honestly, Anon, go for it. There's absolutely no shame in working construction. The only thing that you should be careful about when working like labor jobs is that it will take a toll on your body. So take it slow, be safe, and do whatever you think makes you happy. There's no shame in working a job to make money. Absolutely no shame in working. And this next one is honestly really, really wholesome, all right? It goes, be me, I'm 16, be a total beta. I have a few friends, nothing special. I'm a total weeaboo as well. I'm doing the Duke of Edinburgh Award for volunteering to decide to help a paralyzed girl and her mom, and her dad was fighting overseas at the time. First day, I listen to the mom about what I'll be doing. I don't really care. I meet the girl, 10 out of 10, damn. Say hello, how are you, the usual stuff. We get started helping the mom cook. Me and her get talking about her daughter and I ask what she does all day. She just lies in bed watching TV. That kind of feels bad, man. I don't think much of it though. I go in and take her her food and feed her, whatever. She's watching Death Note. We start talking like crazy. We discuss other anime, become friends, and I keep up the DOE award. I keep talking to her and we become very good friends. The DOE award ends and I keep on visiting her after school. I go out with her, with her in a wheelchair. She's never been outside for a prolonged amount of time. We start kind of dating. I keep visiting her and helping out. I watch anime together for a couple of weeks. We get on to the Angel Beats, episode 10, find out Yui was paralyzed. I keep quiet, and then the marriage proposal scene. Engage over feel.png. 10 out of 10 girl asks if I would like her more if she could move. Tears are rolling down my face. I throw my arms around her and softly say, you are perfect the way you are. Don't ever change. That was the first time I ever hugged my wife. And honestly, that is unbelievably wholesome. And I thank you for sharing that with us, Anon. Everybody deserves someone like you and also her. So, that being said, let's continue the streak with the next one. Alright, it goes, I held my boyfriend in bed last night. He goes, I like it when you hold me. He started crying. That face when I'm rubbing his back and kissing his hair while he softly sobs into my chest. That face when he keeps saying sorry and I had to tell him over and over again that it's okay. That face when he asked me not to leave him. That face when I'm never leaving him. It was a very weird experience. I never had a man cry in my arms before. All I felt was love and needed to protect him. And that's actually kind of weird to think about because normally it's the other way around where the man has to protect the woman and you know how like the woman's typically more emotional in like these standard nuclear relationships. So good for him. Good for that Anon for being able to cry in front of his girlfriend and express his emotions in any rather positive way. And good for her for being a stone for him when he needed it. All right, we're going to end it there, boys and girls. That was actually really wholesome. If you have any stories like this, please just tell me in the comments. I'd actually like to read them out for maybe the next video or the upcoming few videos. All right. And that being said, if you liked what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, please dislike it. And also tell me in the comments what you didn't like about it. So that way, you know, I can improve. So that being said, have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.